freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. We are in Redlands. We actually started a little bit late this morning, not gonna lie. Luke, uh, Lukey boy decided he wanted to have a bit of extra sleep. Um, there will be GoPro footage in this as, as usual. Um, he's just on charge at the moment whilst I'm in here. We've just been loaded. Uh, we've got to get our load checked and then strap up. So that's what we're gonna do now go get our load checked, go strap up and then I'll, I'll show you the load and talk to you where we are going in a second. Right, this is what we got, this is the load. It's a double stacked all the way down. Uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 24. So that'd be 48 pallets in total. Apparently it only weighs 20 ton when I spoke to him on the phone. Apparently only 20 ton, but that's a, uh, a lot of tiles, so we're gonna get strapping up now. Got to put corner boards on each one and then strap it all up, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Let's go into a place called Sharnbrook. Uh, I don't know where in Sharnbrook. Done a quick bit of research before I got loaded and there's a new build being built. So I've, I've got sat enough set to that destination just in case, but we'll find out for sure in a second. Let's get all this strapped up first. Okay, just like that, we're done. Uh, it's all strapped up. Each one's got corner boards on. If you're wondering what the corner boards are for, it's because the tiles are actually quite sharp. And um, if you don't have any edge protectors on, then it will literally cut the strap, literally. And then you've got a busted strap. So that's why we use the, uh, the corner boards. It's taken me about 20 minutes to do that, give or take. Anyway, let's go grab our paperwork. Then we can get out of here. Got to follow the pedestrian line. I've got, a, I've got history for driving over a pedestrian crossway and getting banned <coughs> Travis Perkins <laughs> by the way people ask me uh, or, or mention every now and then aren't you banned from Travis Perkins the answer is I was banned I'm not currently banned I've been there several times since paperwork please take the bag oh, okay <laughs> uh, recently I've been leaving the bag just taking the paperwork <laughs> they actually put please take the bag <laughs> oh dear anyway there's the truck if the phone focuses that's the truck we're all strapped up ready to go we'll jump in we'll check where we're going because like i said at the moment i don't actually know where i'm going and then we'll take it from there right we're in the truck i to take all this off i'm hot Ugh. I still don't actually know where I'm going yet. I haven't even looked. Let's have a look. Right. Yeah, we're good. I know. I know where we're going. I know where we are going. See, this bag is annoying. I don't want the bag. It's just rubbish now. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't want the bag. Uh, we need to get fuel. We've got hardly any fuel. We need to use UK fuels. Yeah, I don't want it to shut down. Where are we going to fill up fuel? I might... Swindon truck stop. Can I use Swindon truck stop with that card there? That's the question. Should be able to. Right, so, we're loaded. <laughs> and we're going to make our way to um, Swindon truck stop, I think. I fill up with fuel on UK fuels. I think that is the plan. Let's turn the beakers off, turn the lights off. 
I don't know whether you can hear the difference in noise, but the beacons are well loud. <laughs> uh, how long have we stationary for? Oh, it's too late, I can't see now. Yeah, I reckon we were stationary for about 25 minutes, I reckon. Tops, certainly no longer than that. Lovely jubbly. I just, I gotta try and think on the way how I got into this place. I think I, I think I've both reversed it and drove in. But the time I drove in, I think I spun around in the yard. It's a very tight yard. Um, I'm sure it was too tight to reverse. I might just reverse on down. I don't know. We we will see. We will see. Anyway, where we just got loaded uh, is literally just around the corner from my yard. Our yard is uh, this one here on the left. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. There we go. That's our yard. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. We're going to be there in about well, just over two and a half hours by the time we stop and get fuel as well. I will see you in a little while. Right, we are a couple of miles away now from where we need to be. Just thought I'd uh, talk on the way in. You probably notice I've got a hoodie on. <laughs> so we stopped for fuel on the A34. It was a BP m and garage there. Topped up with fuel, uh, 400 litres almost we put in. It was about it's about nine degrees outside. I was like, yeah, I, put, I think I put my hoodie back on. <laughs> it's quite chilly. Um, also, whilst there, we phoned the customer up where we're delivering to, and because, um, like I said, I've been there. I've been there twice before. Once I've reversed in, and once I've driven in. So I've asked them which one they would like me to do, because I'm pretty sure I drove in and then spun round in their yard. But it is very tight. Um, anyway. They said reverse in, so we've got to reverse in off the road. It's a, it's not a hard reverse, don't get me wrong, but it is, um, I don't know, like relatively long reverse, it's, and a blind side reverse, and off a main road, so <laughs> it's, it's challenging, I would say. It's not it's not hard, but it is going to be somewhat challenging, especially if you're new to the industry and like and you just pass your test, it definitely would be a daunting reverse. Basically, um, to turn in, if we were to drive in, it's a very tight hairpin left-hand turn. Um, we need to reverse in, so we're going to go past the turn, reverse in and sort of angle ourselves towards the left. Then we've got to drive past houses and I'm going to assume parked cars. Uh, then it's a uh, blindside turn. Is this the one we want? No, this is not the one we want. It's the next one we want. This one we want. Yeah, then it's... Um, uh, like a blindside turn round into an industrial estate then down a narrow lane with um, train track on one side as well it'll look, obviously it'd be fenced off but um, yeah that's that's where it is it's just down here on the left we're about half a mile away now bins are out so it looks like we could come across a bin lorry at some point potentially it's all good for now just trying to keep an eye out for vehicles behind me because like I said, we need to reverse in off the road, so we'd have to put our hazards on nice and early if that is the case. And I remembered, last time I came out, like I said, I drove in and I went straight past it. And there's like a big old triangle, and sort of turn left and then just go around this big triangle and you can come back in and drive in. But they want us to reverse in this time, so no, no problemo. No problemo. I don't know what I'm doing after. Yes, I know it's a humpback bridge. I don't know what I'm doing after this. We'll, um, we'll message the boss once we're getting tipped, find out what we're doing. I like having a guess. We're not too far away from Forty Creek. Um, and we're not even too far, there's a van there, so that's the turn we need to make. We're not too far away from um, BMI, where near Forty Creek is as well. So yeah, it could be we go get loaded with some more slates. Uh, it's really quite busy here at the moment. We've got to reverse in down this road. Strings, cars, hazards are on, beacons are on. There's a now a car deciding he wants to come on in. Whack it in reverse. 
I'm gonna put my bright lights on in the back of my cab as well, just to let people see me a bit easier. So, like I said, we do have parked cars. They're on my left-hand side, so we need to reverse on the right-hand side of the road to get past them. A <laughs> lady's looking at me. Make sure there's plenty of room for the cars. We're a bit tight. bit tight on the old right here for me to get an angle yeah gone too far over to the right and now I can't get an angle to uh, budge over to the left a little bit without going up on the curb and grass I don't really want to do that so just get a slightly different angle it means getting closer to the car on the left but we need to oh, I've gone up on the curb there it's a bit snug Oh, that car was waiting for me. Thank you. Just gave him a little flash. I think this blue car was waiting as well. Potentially. Yeah, it looks like it was. It's annoying because we're so far over on the, on the right-hand side. I can't get the angle. I need to turn left, but I can't get the angle because I'm so, so far on the right-hand side. <laughs> that I can't turn the cab. So now we can get a, a better angle now. Now we can do this blindside turn. Because the, the back end of the trailer needs to be right on the left-hand side of the road to make the turn. <laughs> but we couldn't, couldn't get the angle. All right, we should be able to start turning now. Keep an eye on this brick on the right hand side. It's going to be very close. Let's not, let's not hit the brick. There we go. I might have taken it a bit too sharp. I need to straighten up nice and quickly. There we go. Yeah, like I said, it's um, a challenging reverse. I've had harder. Just getting your angles right. We've got posts on the right-hand side that I need to clear. There we go. <laughs> the road isn't straight either. It's barely big enough for an Arctic. There we go. We got it. That's the hardest bit. It gets a bit narrow again back down here, I believe. We're just angling ourselves through that without hitting anything. Driving out won't be an issue. It'd be easy driving out. Just the old reverse and maneuver in, that's all. Dip in the road there. So this is why I always try and ring my customers up if I can, just to confirm what they want me to do. I also gave them my ETA, so they are expecting me. Hopefully it's clear. Once I get a bit further in, I can determine where, where to park. I 
just steal me reverse. <laughs> See, I don't want to say I've got a big head or anything. I don't want to. I ain't bad at reversing. I can reverse. Some people won't want to reverse a car that far, let alone a lorry. Right, it looks like there's something in the loading bay potentially. Yeah, there is. So I think I'll just tuck over to the right hand side. Yeah, if I just tuck over to the right hand side, I can see someone and go from there. It's quite busy in here. Not sure how vehicles are going to get past each other, to be honest. There's another lorry coming on in. It's going to leave a big enough gap just for vehicles to get in. Let's go speak to someone and see what they say. Got enough room to open my door? Just. No. I'll let them come through and I'll turn left a little bit. <laughs> Ah, guess what's just parked up? Another Arctic. That's going to be uh, causing issues. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so we are here. We're just going to start taking up all the straps now. And, uh, yeah, take it from there. So we're going to take the straps off. Um, still don't know, 100% sure where I'm going from here afterwards. That lorry that turned up has been told to wait. So that's good. We got here first, just in the nick of time. That is the walk of annoyance. Turning up to your delivery to find out you've got a long wait. Sorry, bud. Got to get all this off. Right, let's get out of here. It's, um... Yeah, I mean, I just gotta be careful what I say. It's one of those yards where, like, it's just rubbish. <laughs> it's, no, it's no one's fault. I don't want to get banned. Don't ban me. It's no one's fault. It's just too. The yard is too small for lorries to be coming down here. Like, just stupid. And I'm glad I reversed in. All oh, these you guys have got to reverse back out. The one's screwing up on the road. It's just one of those yards, it's just way too small for what it is, too busy. Um, can't imagine any of these neighbours particularly happy with all these lorries coming down here either. I wouldn't have thought so. I got a funny feeling I can't make this right turn. Maybe I'm thinking that I went straight on and spun around in the triangle. Yeah, I, there's a car, that black car, that Nissan, there's no way I'd make that corner without taking the Nissan out. So. We'll have to go out on the road, spin round on this triangle, which again is also pretty tight. But it's the only thing we can do to get out of here. It's the only way we can get round. This car does not go further any forward. Thank you. There we go. And then, um, yeah, we can get on out. Imagine. 
Yeah, there's no way I would have made that right turn without taking out the, uh, the black piss out with the tail end of the trailer. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HGVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HGV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, load two, strapped up. Might sound weird because I think the audio is coming from my earpiece, but uh, yeah, load two done. Let's jump in the truck and crack on. Right. Is it hot in here or is it just me? Ugh. Put that up in a second once I get some more height in my seat. So, yeah. This one could be interesting because we haven't, we do have an address, but we also don't have an address. It just says, ship to Hill Partnerships, Fordham, CB7, 5LQ. It's literally all it says. I got a road, a Soham Road, Hill Partnerships. So I did a bit of a Google and Hill Partnerships is basically housing new builds. And there does appear to be a new build section um, on this Soham Road so that is where I'm going to head towards I'm just going to put it in my phone as well ready to go there we go so my phone is taking us there as well sometimes I get asked why do I use two different um, sat navs the question the, the question the answer is I use the TomTom -tom to get me there to avoid the bridges etc I use my phone to uh, get me to the exact place I want to go to. Is my heating on on this seat? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Got heated seats <laughs> and it's turned on, so I'm getting a warm bottom. Warm bottom means sweaty bottom. I don't want a sweaty bottom. <laughs> right, ET there um, is currently quarter past three. Uh, I need to stop and get some food and drink because I've got no food and drink and I'm hungry. So I will, I will need to stop and get a, a bite to eat quickly. And um, the other thing is, I haven't mentioned yet, but this truck, because I'm in my new truck, which I haven't really shown properly yet, but I've been in it for about a month and it only does 53 miles an hour, but um, it's actually been recalibrated and uh, it's now doing 56. So the ETA is slightly off because um, I've got it set to 53 top speed when I actually do 56. So I could make up some time as well. Yes. Anyway, we're going to get a crack in. Let's make our way there. Like I said, it's going to be pretty sure it's a building site. Hopefully they take the delivery and then uh, we'll find out what we're doing from there. I'll see you in a bit. Right, okay, we are coming up to our potential destination. Um, like I said, I, don't, I haven't been given a housing company name or anything like that. All I've got is Hills's, hang on, was it? Yeah, all I've been got, all I've got is Hill Partnerships. That's all I've got, Hill Partnerships. I haven't got a builder's name, like, I don't know, like David Wilson names or whatever. Barrett Homes. Got nothing like that. Just hills. <laughs> it's all I've got. Hill partnerships. All I've got is a street, and that street is coming up in a couple of roundabouts time. So yeah, we will be keeping an eye out for house in buildings. We're it's in a, the, the particular stretch of road, the street, is rather uh, fortunate because it's got roundabouts either end of it, so it we might have to go up and down a couple of times if we have to. Um, but fingers crossed we can find it first time. I have a suspicion where it could be, looking on Google Maps before I left. There is uh, what looks to be one building site and it says no reversing without a banksman. I suspect they probably still want me to reverse in off the road by myself, but we'll see. There's a roundabout coming up um, very soon and then that is pretty much the road that we need to be on. But yeah, we're just going to keep an eye out for 
anything, anything building. Do you know what I mean? Hills Partnerships, let's scroll that. But I couldn't find anything nearby called Hills Partnerships. That's the problem. I've got quite a few cars behind me, so I do think we're going to have to stop on the road at some point. What's that sign? That's a brewery. So, yeah, we've got Raynar's Green, which is the yellow AA sign that was there. AA signs um, lead you to building sites. Don't know if you ever knew that. There's another yellow sign there. Come on, then. Give them away to you. But yeah, that Reinar's Green could be where we're going. What's this one say? So this yellow sign here, yeah. Uh, Bloor Homes at Islesham. So I've not been given Bloor Homes as a as a place to deliver. I've just been given a street, literally a street. And uh, I've had to use my initiative and assume it's a building site. Ashbury Homes, that's two different lots of homes. We've got Basingbourne Fields on the right. I say Chippenham. Does that say Chippenham? Chippenham's near me. We're nowhere near Chippenham. Um, I'm going to go to the first place. I think it's the Rhinars Green. Can I go to the first place and then... Um, Ask them if it's for them. If they say yeah, we'll drop it off. <laughs> do you know what I mean? What else can I do? I've been given... Because at the moment, that house up there isn't on the road that we've been given, which is Shoreham Road, I think it was called. Is it, some, it could be in the gardens, isn't it? That's the second bet. There was, there was some digging down there. So we got somewhere here, look. Last year. So this is Rhino's Green. This is going to be an issue because uh, the, they could call this Soham Road. That says Ash Road. So it could be down there. We've got to go. We don't know. And there also looks to be a building site down here on the right hand side. Let's have a look. That looks like a possibility but I didn't realise that was there. I want to check this place out down here first. So that's Rainer's Green, we've just gone past. There's a site here that I saw, and we're actually on Soham Road now, do you know what I mean? So that's why I'm led to believe it's this one. I can see some diggers down there. We're gonna drive on in, it's a long walk otherwise. Construction traffic entrance. Good shouts. Nothing about hills is on either of these. But this one's on Soham Road. Like if they give me, like I said, if they give me Ashbury or whichever one that one was called, Bloor Homes, I think. If they told me, then it'd be no problem. But there's nothing on the paperwork. So let's drive on down here. By the way, these roads, new builds, houses, <laughs> nowhere near big enough for trucks. No in there. Anyway, we've got to tell Yander. Did he just see me? I think he's coming down towards me already. Hopefully, don't tell me I need to reverse it. We stop here, I think, and just go speak to him. Sorry, mate. I'm not sure if I'm in the right place. It just says Hill Partnership, Soham Road. Ooh. Good for me. I'm sorry, it's for that start. I have to go back to the main road. Yeah. Turn the left. Yeah. Roundabout turn right. Yeah, first of you, you will see the main fences on the right side. But first, roundabout. Turn right. Cool. All right, now it's. Just it said Soham Road and this one was on Soham Road, so. Yeah, all right, mate. Best place to turn around. Uh, 
I'll drive in and have a look. If, I, if not, then I'll reverse back. Right, so he's saying it's the other one. I got a funny feeling I'm going to go to the other one and be told it's not there either. Now the issue is getting out of here. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it round this corner. Right, so one corner good done. I've got to try and make this second one now. I need to go further on up the road where he is. to go back Yeah, I gotta go out, turn left, and go to the other one. Yeah, well, yeah, I just try to turn around. Well, I've, I've been, I gotta go to Hill Partnerships. Hill Partnerships. There's more sites around Fordham, so yeah, that's what I see the one over the other side. That's what I'm hoping. All I've been, all I was told was Soham Road, which is where this one is. So I've got to travel up. All right, mate. Might need a hand, but I should, I should be all right. Yeah. We'll see you in a sec. I do like it when you've got a uh, an audience watching it get out. <laughs> right, we should be good. It's gonna be tight on the load. Right. That's what I said. This is gonna be annoying. Well, they're, they're saying it's not here. That's two people have said it's not here. Let's go try the other one. Ah, there was one off the roundabout, wasn't there? And it looks a bit bigger. Well, I say bigger. <laughs> we don't actually know if it looks bigger. The other issue is it's, it's kind of getting on in the day now. It's half past three. A lot of, a lot of builders, not builders, a lot of... Uh, New build houses don't take deliveries come four o'clock, they go home. So there is a good chance I won't get tipped. Clear right, clear left. The, the, um, 
The guy on the fork seemed pretty confident that it was this one. So let's have a look. If it's not this one, it's going to be a case of parking up, phoning up and just say, look, you need to tell site is because I've been to two and they're saying it's not them. There's a tipper going into the site as well. So it looks active. This is the rain is green one. Follow that tipper. I can turn around in here if need be, reverse back out. The issue with that one is there was, it was either turn around there in sight or reverse all the way back out to the road. Ah, this one says hill. Yeah, it says hill. This is it, this is the one. Gotta find a teleander and quick. But this isn't on, well, I don't know. Is, is it on Soham Road or isn't it? I don't know, that's the question. Have I got to go around here? I think so. Looks like a stockyard. Let's see what they say. Seatbelt's come off now because I'm off the main road. That is actually going to be awkward to reverse all the way back out. Can't go down there. I made an over here because it's wide enough for trucks to pass. This was the site behind the garden centre, I said. Do you remember? I said there's something behind the garden centre. I'm aiming towards that teleander over there. Worst case scenario, I'm hoping I can just park up here for the night. These guys are going to stop and chat now. You wait. Oh, they didn't. Bloody hell. That guy there is delivering the same stuff as me. Okay, we're stopping here. Hazard's on. I need to go and see him. See if he's going to tip me tonight. Today. Fingers crossed. Wish me luck. Right, situation is this. Um, I don't know if I'm being tipped or not yet. Waiting to find out. The guy offloading that truck in front doesn't seem very happy <laughs> that I've turned up at this time. He said, oh, I need to make a phone call. I said, okay, mate, no problem. He said, yeah, he goes, yeah, not happy that you turned up this late. I was like, oh. Anyway, he made a phone call to the, the people in charge of these or something to see if they want them this late, but it's looking like I will be sent away. I'm gonna find out in 10 or 15 minutes. They won't let me park up here either. So I gotta find somewhere to park up. Yeah. Okay, we're being tipped. Well, not right now. He just asked me to take the straps off, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, Betty boy behind me, as you can see, he's only got one left to come off. Do you see that? One left to come off for him, so we are trying to get these off, these straps off ASAP, because as soon as these are off, we can get into position. And uh, yeah, go from there. I was a little bit worried when he said he might not be able to get tipped tonight, because I've got no idea where I'm gonna stay. I think the A14, which is nearby, will have laybys, but it's also notorious for fuel theft. So, uh, yeah, that was a no-go. Anyway, I gotta get these off. Okay, that's all the straps off. Let's whack them at the back. Right, straps are off. He is tidying up his bed. The only thing we've got to do now is take off all the corner boards. And then once he moves, we can head on over there. Well, I need two hands to do this because these are quite bulky. Right, we're tipped. Let's take this off. Don't do that anymore. What is the time? It's nearly 10 past five. I think we got here like half past three. Yeah, we did. We've been here a while. 
We've been here a while, but we are tipped. We are tipped, paperwork is signed, and we can get out of here and head towards our collection for the morning. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to Wisbeach, and I'm hoping to park in Wisbeach tonight. <laughs> That's the aim. So I'm going to make my way towards Wiz Beach now. Bear in mind it is uh, over an hour away. We're clear. Yeah, it's over an hour away to Wiz Beach. So by the time we park up tonight, it's going to be like half past six potentially. Uh, we started about seven o'clock today. So it's, it'll still be less than a 12 hour shift. Oh. Well, you're there because I've been sat around doing nothing for the last hour and a half. But we're here, we made it, we got it delivered. It's like the back of the garden centre. Because I've very nearly come in the garden centre way. Never mind. It's quite a big site. Quite big. Oh, there's that car parked on the. There's a car up here. <laughs> It looked like it was parked on the road. Yeah, it is parked on the road a little bit. It's literally a haulage road, mate. I know you live there, but it, this is actually a haulage road for other houses to be built. Oh, what's my trailer on it now? It's going to be really close. trailer's got a bit of a tail swing on it because he's part of right on the corner don't want to be driving on the grass that's the last thing you want to be doing because you just sink <laughs> new build grasses they look nice but it's just soft mud <laughs> I can tell you from experience just soft mud it needs to be hardened I've still got my beacons on so I'm flashing away they know I'm obviously an object that's why the car driver stopped for me. Very kind of him or her. Thank you. Thank you, Mum. Appreciate it. Right, beacons can come off. We're turning left here. Midlift axle is up. Let's get out of here. Right, turn your lights on your knob. Sorry. <laughs> it probably looks a bit lighter on the GoPro than it actually is. Um, it's definitely lights. <laughs> lights on weather, I would say. Anyway, we're, uh, we're nearly here. Just one mile away, pretty much. Just over a mile. 1.3, to be precise. Honda Civic Type R. Go on, mate. Vroom, vroom, VTEC, yo. I would have you though in mind, just said. I would destroy you. Where's Beach? Where's Beach, where's Beach, where's Beach? Look, so there's no, uh, there's no lines on these roads here, and this is a Western Hand lane. So as far as I'm concerned, legally I could park up here if I wanted to, on one of these lanes. It's wide enough. I suspect it'd be quiet enough. That's unsuitable for very good vehicles, so that's fine. I'm taking the next left, hopefully. Hopefully the next one isn't unsuitable, but I can already see trucks parked up, so could be busy. Or is it inside the gates? I think that's inside the gate, yeah. That's inside the... Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Could you pick a better location? It's well quiet down here, look. But then is that a bad thing? I've got a choice to pick now where I park. I don't want to be parking next to too many trucks, like, they could be working all throughout the night. Second thing to consider is when I do find somewhere to park up, this is a really bumpy road, I want to be looking at the businesses and see what time they open. Things like that. Anyway, this does like a big old circle, I can go back out the other way, um, on back onto that road I was just on, but I never exit. That's a bit better. 
that road was very bumpy so it'd be very noisy for anything passing so i'm not parking down there this is nice and smooth oh that's a good shout down there There's like loads of choice. I'm literally spoiled for parking. Where do I park? Obviously the further on down I go, the, in theory, the quieter it's going to be because less traffic will be coming down. But you also want to get like a, a road, an off-road like that because um, even less people are going to be passing. This is like no, weirdly, Oh, I can smell like, I can smell something, food. I'm not even hungry, I can just smell food. Um, where to park? I, I do this when I go to park car parking spaces. I just, I just can't find somewhere to park. There's, there's loads of room and I just can never pick anywhere. Is that a dead end down there? I think it is. That's a dead end down there. I like the look of down there, to be honest. Oh, there's a daft dealer right there. They, and they work th throughout the night, I think. Don't want to be parking next to the daft either. <laughs> I can't make a decision. Can't make a decision to save my life, I really can't. <laughs> right, we're going back out onto the road. You let me through, thank you. Or do I just park here? I'm just gonna park here on the left. This this looks decent enough. There's a street lamp there as well, so it'd light up my fuel tank. If I park right right next to it pretty much, it'll light up my fuel tank. So anyone if anyone does try to steal anything, they'll um more likely to be seen, I would say. Because I've got a flatbed on as well, it's easy for people to see from behind. Anyway, this is home for the night and we're nine minutes away from our collection point in the morning which you will see in another vlog. That's going to be the end for this video. I'm going to turn my engine off and I'm going to do some end of day checks. I need to do some paperwork and then uh, uh, go to sleep, I think. Go to sleep and start again tomorrow real quickly. This is what I talk about, about looking at uh, businesses next to me. So to my left, Cargo Tech doesn't say an opening time. Grow World Hydrophonics opens up at 10 o'clock. Behind me to the left, nine o'clock. Uh, there's a welding center there. They open up at eight o'clock. So yeah, I'm gonna be gone by nine. Primitive Choice, there's a, a, something over there. They open up at 8.15. So yeah, I do that all the time. Basically, no businesses are open before eight o'clock um, in this immediate area, and I'll be gone maybe half six, quarter to seven, latest. So it's all good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.